So since I did my video about white women having an epic night out, some of my sisters hit me up and said, Josh, you gotta talk about us. What about us? What you know about us? Five things black women may or may not be willing to admit that they experienced during girls' night out. Five. Number one, all getting dressed will happen at one person's house. Take a group of six black women, six different apartments, six different cars, six different great careers. No matter what, they gonna get all their stuff, pack it in their trunk, put it in their front seat. Heels, lotions, deodorant, body spray, perfumes, condoms if you got them. And they gonna get dressed at one person's house. And that one person ain't gonna mind. They gonna have a music plan when they get there. They gonna have whatever they wanna drink because they got a pregame. They gotta get ready to go out. They finna get their thoughts together. They finna understand what's finna go on, what's not finna go on. How they gonna get back together. They gonna Go to one house, they gonna leave from one house. If you ever in the neighborhood and you see seven, eight cars lined up around one house, them girls about to get down. A party ain't a party till it's ran all through. Number two, before they even go out, they have going out foreplay. When black women decide they're going to go out on Saturday, it just doesn't come together that Friday. They don't get prepared that Friday. They start on Monday. They start texting each other, girl, we going out on Saturday. When I say going out, we going out. Get your situation together. Get your life ready. Make sure you have your clothes and your shoes ready because we turning up. On Tuesday, they start thinking about the clubs and everywhere they're going to go. On Wednesday, somebody going to try to back out. That's when the rest of the group pull them back in. On Thursday, everything is set. Any argument has been solidified. The second one put put down in the bedroom so they can go out in peace. On Friday, everybody know what they're doing. On Saturday, they meet at that house because all that foreplay is just prepping them for to have a great time on Saturday. That's why foreplay with black women be so good because they so prepared and everything. They do foreplay for everything. Cooking, music, showering, going out. Oh my gosh. I think I need a cigarette. Number three, you are not about to disrespect one and not get dealt with by everybody. If you see a group of black women coming to the club together, they are synchronized. They got the same periods, they got the same hell, they got the same feelings, everything. One could be in this side of the club, one could be outside the club, one could be in the costume, one could be in the bathroom. If you disrespect or say anything wrong to one of them, they like the Power Rangers. Okay, we gotta be in the middle of the club right now because she or he just bumped me and they ain't saying excuse me and I think it's gonna go down, girl. They gonna come out the ground, they gonna come out the wall, they gonna just, one of them might Star Trek spawn. Okay. Okay, Spock, we good. Beam us up. Black women will ride for each other forever. One could be in a casket. It will come out the ground like a zombie. Which one, which one of y'all disrespect my homegirl? Number four, wherever they go will become a fashion show. This is facts across the board. I don't care. You cannot debate me. If there's a car outside that look nice, she is finna make that car her photo shoot. If they had a bar in that restaurant is popping, they finna turn that whole bar in that whole restaurant into a photo opportunity. They can be in the middle of nowhere. When I say nowhere, I'm talking about in space. They go, girl, get the big dipper behind me. Make sure Saturn, do Saturn look good, girl? Make sure, Ven make sure Venus no. Make sure Venus don't mess up my angle, baby. They could be in somebody's hospital watching a woman give birth. They gonna take, they gonna pose behind the vagina when the baby crying and just. La Adrian gonna be so cute. La Adrian, my girl, close your legs. La Adrian gonna be cute. He'll be all right. And number five, after all the partying and hoopla and having a good time and protecting everything around them, one person gonna be the only person to wake in the car. Now, I don't know what it is, I don't know why it's like this, but once black women go out, have a good time, get a little drink in their system, it's one of them women, they not gonna drink, they gonna be the scoper, they gonna be the MacGyver, they are gonna make sure everything's safe, they are gonna make sure the sun ain't black, they homegirl shine, they gonna make sure that photo opportunity was straight, they gonna make sure if anybody had to get bold, they was the first person in the middle, but when they get in that car, all the black women gonna fall like flowers, just, And one by one, when they start waking up, girl, I had a good time. Thank you for driving, baby. I'm going to see y'all um, like, in like three months. We can't do this all the time, but I'm going to see y'all in like three months. When black women go out, it is a movie. Bring your popcorn, sit still, no bathroom breaks, because you don't want to miss nothing.